What's up guys, I'm Kel, Red Zone Rogue, and today I have a Dragoborn Oath of Blood unboxing video. This is actually the second Dragoborn set. It's been a while since I've made a Dragoborn video, and that has just been sheerly due to the cost of keeping up with all of these card games. I still think Dragoborn is a fantastic game. I've played it a lot more since the launch. Um, this is the, the first time I've actually bought product since the first set came out. Uh, and speaking of product, I want to give a huge shout out to Turtle Rocket Gaming. Those guys hooked me up with these boxes. I had to pay for them, but they were really cool with like shipping and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I've actually bought product from them before on TCG Player um, about their Force Will stuff before. And they've always been really, really cool. Always excellent shipping. So check them out. This is not a sponsored video. I just wanted to give them a shout out because they were really, really cool to me. Um, and without further ado, let's open some of these up. I have, uh, I have four boxes here. Um, we're going to open up two in this video. We're going to open up two in another video. Kind of spread spread the love a little bit um, mostly also because we don't want like one super long video that people get bored with um, and yeah without further ado let's get going look at this she's very very cool looking all right I got the shrink wrap off let's pop up the top and look at the booster packs um, unlike most of the other games that I open up on this channel booster boxes of Dragoborn don't come in 36 packs you know like force of will or magic the gathering they come in packs of 20 and each pack only has eight cards uh, that's not too big of a deal because the the you know the the set <laughs> I can fucking speak the set's only 120 cards pretty small set um we got all the booster packs lined up here in true bushy road fashion each box should also i think at least the first printing should come with a set of banners and these are what you use to like kind of like your resource for the deck but also other cards are resources as well but i digress and also a little dice pack and I think this one yeah these ones are clear dice whereas if you bought the first booster box they were not clear dice I think you have to use the clear dice in like sanctioned tournaments and and whatnot but um yeah without further ado let's start cracking into some booster packs we got this very very um, good looking angel and maybe we'll maybe we'll see her inside all right so just a quick rundown I know I'm not going to go too in-depth on Dragoborn, but I do want to show you the rarities. Rarity are these circles down in the bottom. One means common, two means uncommon, three is rare, and four is like a super rare or a double rare. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to put all of the foils here, rares here, and double rares here. Uh, and let's get on with it. We have a Cragborn Proud Stalker, Daredevil Brat, this maid lady, the healer. I think these are all like homunculus, all of like the maid, maid chicks. We have a Devastator Boar. This dude who looks really cool. Augmented Hellhound. He looks fucking badass. That is an uncommon. We have another uncommon. We have the Dark Forge Wall Masher. We have ooh, a foil. This is a foil uh, uncommon, the Overseer. The foiling, as you can see, is, is pretty nice. Um, kind of like got a Magic the Gathering style foiling. And I guess, ooh, dude, <laughs> fucking called it. First call. So our rare is um, Aseria the Cruel. She is the, you know, the card from the, the fucking booster packs, the box cover. Um, very fucking awesome art. That's one of the things that really pulled me into this game to begin with. The art is fucking fantastic. Some of the best artists in Magic the Gathering are actually working on this game. Like a Steve Argyle. But yeah, you can see it here. I think this card's actually a pretty decent card. So foils, rares, and then double rares. Got a Risen Crusader, Earthbreaker Titan. She's actually pretty big. You have like these scale humans down here. We have a Fairy Ally, Maiden of the Grove, still at the commons. Another common, we have the, the Gardener, High Elf Shield Mage. She's looking pretty good. This other demon dude, the Augmented Cragborn. He looks pretty sweet. And we have a rare Star of Divinity, this um, glowing, glowing elk dude. We have a the potion here. <laughs> nice. This uh Merfolk dude. I think they're called like Gilman. Tide Chaser, Tide Chaser Cannoneer. Chrome Gear Zealot. He looks pretty sweet. This uh pretty fucking ripped elf. Canopy Scout. Elves usually are not that ripped. We have another of the Overseer. This is another uncommon. We have Sudden Eruption. Ooh, a foil uncommon. We're getting a lot of foil uncommons. This one is a Supreme Ambition, pretty nice looking. And then we have a rare um, Vainglory Incarnate. He looks pretty sweet. He looks like a boss from like God of War or something like that. Wow, that card is actually really, really cool looking. 
Augmented Stone Gazer. It's like a uh, cyborg gorgon. It looks looks fucking sweet. It looks awesome. I man, it's a shame magic doesn't get cool stuff like that. Uh, Supreme Brutality, Tide Chaser Rogue, Brutal Grizzly. Yeah, he's a fairly brutal grizzly. We have an Exalted Rune Mage, Creature Demigod. Wow. I mean, she looks pretty cool. What is this? An uncommon spell, Shining Decree. Supreme Ambition. We got one of those already. We have another rare. This is the uh, First Daughter. Pretty cool. Um, I should note at, now at this point that some packs can have multiple rares. You can have up to three rares in a pack. Um, so just uh, keep an eye out for that. Awesome, awesome art. The uh, Vivacious Vampire. She's really cool looking. I dig it quite a bit. Her armor reminds me a lot of... Um, fuck, I forgot, an MMO that I used to play. Skyving Troop. Titanic Force. Just fucking punching the Rockman. Another Tide Chaser Rogue. He's just a vanilla. Three cost, three four. Probably doesn't see any play, but it sounds pretty good for like a limited environment. Sky and Earth. I don't actually know if there's a limited environment for this game. We have Augment. Uh, Fender Bender. That, that's an actual guitar. The zombie biting a guitar. It's actually pretty sweet. And we have, ooh, nice. This is actually the, the play mat that we have. This is um, Sen or Senus. That's probably Sen, Lord of the Rampage. This is actually one of the five Elder Dragons in the set. Each color gets an Elder Dragon. They're all five fives for five. They have different abilities. Um, you can rate him here if you'd like, but he's pretty fucking cool looking. Yeah. Also, he is a, a super rare. He's a double rare Whatever you want to call it, the next rarity up over rare. I also want to note that every booster box of Dragoborn that I've opened has always had one of each of the um, colors of double rares. They're not always one of each of the double rares, but I have like you know a black one, a green one, a blue one. Like I think the box boxes are like kind of not random like that. It was in a pre pretty early uncommon, the Arsenal of Justice. A violent Gale. Ooh, this is a rare foil. This is a Gorgoth the Devourer. Kind of cool. Kind of Chimera type card. And then we have a, another rare. This is the Rita, Scrapper's Ally. Kind of cool. Harpy. Ooh, another like, really cool dragon. Is this the same dragon? I don't know. It might be. It's pretty cool though. Back from the Grave. Titanic Force. Another Homunculus the Gardener. Holt Stalker. She's uh, looking pretty good. We have this um, Fervent Blacksmith, Exalted Duelist. She also looks pretty fucking cool. This uh, Axel Little Fang. That's a rare. And then we have, ooh, we have another one. Is this another Elder Dragon? Yeah, it's another Elder, Elder Dragon. Gravos, Lord of the Loam. Pretty sweet. He's got, like, fucking, fucking trees and foliage on his back. Pretty sweet. We got uh, two of the Elder Dragons. Grotesque Cragborn. He is... I would say fairly grotesque. The Experiment Crusher of Armies. Yeah. This giant, giant elephant man. Uh, vessel of the End. This uh, spear dude. A gallant chevalier. Sabotage. Sabotage. We have Master of the Harvest. This is a rare, so we probably have a couple rares in this one. So we have Master of the Harvest and um, Thalesa Partisan of Life. Which is pretty sweet. Yeah, there are like green angels in this, which is, you know, if you play magic, that's kind of weird. Most angels are just in white, but uh, we got some very good looking green angels here. We have a bewitching stone gazer, another gorgon. Kind of see a theme here. This really, really buff chick. Uh, Angelica's guard. Pretty cool. Another uh, supreme ambition. Dark forge wall smasher. Intimidating guardian. Oh, so, so this one's a rare. Also looks like something from God of War. Also, a little uh, piece of a booster pack. So, ooh, this is going to be a triple rare pack, I believe. Uh, the next one is Merfolk Tinkerer, and the final one is Necros, the Unending. He's got his fucking arm ripped off. Another one of these really awesome looking Gorgons. So I think you get one of the triple rare booster packs, like three rares. I think you get one of those per box. So that, that was the one that we get. This guy looks pretty sweet. The ninja dude, Sabotage. We have this goat, Goatman, Elder Horn Druid, and Halvast, the Searing Horn, which I think is actually a pretty good card. I, I looked at its stats, I looked at what it does. It reminds me of like a Flame Tongue Kavu from Magic the Gathering. Except uh, a little bit better because he could do it when he attacks. I don't know, he, he's pretty cool. 
We got a raid with awesome, awesome looking artwork. I mean, the artwork in this game is just fantastic all around. We have a Dread Gravekeeper, Fleetfoot Highborn. It's like a looks like Perseus or something. We have a Holt Stalker, the Nightingale, the uncommon. Another uncommon, the Violent Gale. We have a Foil the Experiment. Looks pretty, pretty cool. You can see like the foiling textures on it and stuff. Not too shabadoo. We have a Ferocity Unleashed. Another Potioneer. I know someone's gonna ask this in the video, if uh, or in the comments, if Dragoborn is dead or dying. Honestly, I don't know. Um, Dragoborn was never really big in my area. And it kind of took a while to take hold. Awesome. This card looks fucking dope. You know, the game's brand, you know, it's pretty fucking new. I think we should still, you know, give it a chance to flourish. The game is really cool. And, um, you know, I, I think it deserves a chance at least. We have a, oh, dude. It's fucking sweet. Christ of the Infernal Blades. I'm actually getting a playmat of this card. Because, I mean, com come on. She is, like, fucking awesome looking. I'm very happy about this. Getting a foil one of these would be most excellent. We have Back from the Grave, Forgotten Acolyte. I do know that, like, in some areas, the game is very strong. There was, like, a recent, like, uh, tournament that had a pretty low attendance in, like, Toronto, I believe. But at the same time, there have been tournaments that have pretty good... Oh, dude. They have pretty good turnouts. Um, yeah, dude. This is a pretty cool foil to get Vivacious Vampire. She is very cool. I mean, I've already talked about the art. So getting a foil of this is... I love the foiling, how some of it is foil and some of it isn't. So, like, the background here and, like, the lines on her chest. It's pretty cool. And then we have this rare... Uh, United in Purpose. Got this raid card. Ooh, another one. Just collecting these today. Which, you know, I don't mind because they look really cool. We have a Devour. Elderhorn Druid on common. We have a, another foil rare. This is two foil rares. Maybe you get two foil rares per box, and then you have a chance to get a double rare. I'm not sure. Um, Ikraback Whelp. Foil rare, wow. And then we have uh, this dude, Bacchus, Patron of the Blossom. He or she is pretty good, I believe. Ravenous Gargoyle. And you know, if you guys, if this looks interesting to you, I would recommend picking up a deck. You can probably find a starter deck for pretty cheap these days. And, you know, you know, get a buddy. The game's really fun to play. The dice mechanic, in my opinion, isn't too bad. There's a lot of cards that help you, like, manipulate the dice so you can get the roll that you want. Specifically in this set, there are cards that have, like, Siphon. The next Siphon card I come across, I'll, I'll point it out. But, um, yeah, it lets you, like, reduce the number uh, the, the number on the dice or, or whatever like that. Anyway, uh, this is the rare. Got the another Gorgoth the Devourer, regular version. Forgotten Acolyte. So yeah, I mean, like, if you want something a little bit different, because this game does not play like Force of Will or Magic the Gathering. Uh, I've heard it plays a little bit more like Card Fight, but I don't know, because I've never actually played Card Fight. This card R is really cool. Gifted Geomancer. We have, oh, dude, this is another Elder Dragon. This is um, Yvel, Lord of the Skies. Is that our fifth one? No, 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 we still get a, we're still going to get a blue one. So we got three Elder Dragons, and we got this Angel. Is she an angel? Yeah, she is an angel. I was like, I don't know if she's a demon or not. That, that's pretty sweet. So, um, yeah, let's see what are the last four packs have in store. Tide Chaser Grunt. He's just a 2-1 one for 1, which I don't know if that's any good in this game. Probably not. Um, from the time I've played, ooh, looking pretty good, Sunscale Warden. From the time I've played, or the time I've spent playing this game, Vanilla creatures are not super great. We have the Supreme Wheel. Will? I can speak. Uh, we have a Seafarer's End. It's a Decemberist song. And this card, I think, is actually a really good card, too. Dark Puppeteer. I think he has a really cool, like, ability. And he has good stats. All around, I think this card's really good. Also, I don't think there are God Packs or anything like that in this game. If you're unfamiliar, Force of Will has God Packs, where every single card in the pack will be a uh, super rare, but I don't think this game has that. Shrouded Stalker, we have a foil, ooh, this foil looks sweet. Hold on, let's see if I can catch the light. Yeah, there we go, we can kind of catch the light so you can see the uh, the details here. This is a Supreme Judgment, it's a common foil, but it's really cool looking. And we have this Darkforge Bladesmith, Battlesmith. 
looks like something from uh, World of Warcraft, honestly. Another ravenous chupacabra. <laughs> this is this a gargoyle, not a chupacabra. Got a Skeletor, Punch Bear. Um, I don't have a nickname for that guy yet. This is a big ass shield. Big ass shield. Oh, nice. So this is our final double rare. Uh, Ulceric Lord of the Glacier. So that makes, like I said, one of each. We did get four out of five of the Elder Dragons. I think there are at least two um, double rares of each color. But uh, yeah, this is pretty sweet. Um, I, I like the, the spread here, especially this Angel Man. I, I know I'm harping on it, but she is really fucking cool looking. And I'm just going to open up this pack in real time. So we don't have to do... I probably should have fast forwarded. <laughs> we don't have to do any like fast forward shenanigans. So our final pack has an industrialized battlesmith, Dread Gravekeeper. I mean, he's literally just holding the grave. This elf chick, fairy ally, highborn exemplar. Uh, this dwarf bro who looks not like he's from Warcraft, more like he's from uh, Warhammer. We have the nightingale with this robot, robot baby. We've got some boobs and robot baby. We have a uh, Amnat the Omniscient. And a uh, drag into the abyss. So pretty good last pack. We got a double rare last pack. Um, and let's just go into the next box. I mean, this is kind of like a, a quick overview of what we got. We did get two. Where are they? We got this one. Where is the other one? Here we go. Yeah, we did. We did get two rares, two uh, foil rares, which is pretty cool. And then I'm, you know, I'm digging the the super rares that we got. And for these, I'm gonna flip through these a lot quicker because we've, we've seen almost all of the commons now at this point and probably all of the uncommons. Um, the first starter, we might have seen all the rares now as well. Um, you do get a pretty good amount. They don't like load you up on a lot of doubles of rares or like deny you a lot of them. So I don't know, we'll see what we get. This is the first daughter. Got some uh, goblin bros and followed by immediately some cleavage. We have this uh, Bladesmith, Exalted Duelist, she still looks really cool. There's a Foil Cragborn Proud Stalker, I mean, he looks pretty sweet. Followed by another Master of the Harvest. Still love this card, this guy looks incredibly dopey. And the art on that one is still fantastic. Shining Decree. This guy looks pretty badass still as well. Oh, so we have a Foil Rare, this is the Ancient Skylord. Pretty cool, I'm trying to get the, the sweet foiling in there. And then we have another rare, Ellis Aegis of Light. So we did not get either of these in the last box, so there are definitely some rares to be seen. The second box will definitely be a lot quicker than the first box, and she still looks really cool. Nightbane Manticore. Oh yeah, I remember her. Remorseful Succubus. Augment and, oh dude, nice. This is a really cool um, double rare. I think it's probably one of the best ones in the set. It sees a lot of play, I believe. Also, it has awesome fucking Steve Argyle art. If you've seen my other videos, you know I have a Lil Liliana of the Veil vale playmat signed by Steve Argyle. One of my favorite artists in Magic. Um, and now, uh, now Dragonborn. Alright, I still wanted to show you guys a siphon mechanic. So I'm going to try to find one of these cards that has one. Nothing new. Oh, actually, this might be new. Uh, Tarzian Arsonist. Yeah, she's pretty cool. We have the End of Tides. Oh, this is a uh, one of the double rares. I don't know what this does. It's got some, like, gnarly abilities. A 10 mana 10 10. Or a 10 cost 10 10. Interesting. Interesting. I'll have to check them out a little bit later when I have more time to, to read them in depth. Supreme Brutality. I'm pretty sure we've gotten that before. Punch Bear. Light Bro. Um, Ace Ventura, I don't know man, I can't, can't come with a good pun, Gifted Geomancer, we have this uh, foil sniper guy, he looks really cool, Augmented Sniper, and followed by a Bacchus, Patron of Blossom, oh wait, this one, this, this has a siphon, yeah, so the siphon ability is, uh, it says siphon green 2, right here, that means you move you take two away from one of your green dice. And there's a lot of cards in the game that, like, want cert <clears throat> certain dice rolls. So it wants, like, a number, like, one to three, or four to six, something like that. And so the siphon helps you 
you know, tweak your dice roll so you get, like, the number that you need. I think it's actually pretty cool. Another Gorgon Girl. Twin Goblin. Skeletor. Um, I don't know, man. Stabby Maid. <laughs> Stabby Maid, I don't know. We have uh, the Winter Soldier here. Supreme Power. Shrouded Stalker. This shit looks pretty sweet. We have another Gravos, Lord of the Loam, double rare. Or uh, super rare, whatever you want to call it. But pretty good. Pretty sweet to have another one of these guys. Got this uh, very vivacious vampire. Skittering Troop, Exalted Rune is the demigod, yeah. She's looking pretty good. Another augmented sniper, uh, the healer. Remorseful Succubus, Righteous End, and a drag into the abyss. Pretty sweet. Um, I think this card's pretty good. I'm not sure. I don't know. Another one of these. This is our first Earthbreaker Titan. Get the garbage out of the sight. She's, um, she's a pretty swole, dignified brawler. Sky and Earth, uh, another Chevalier. Devour. Ooh, this is our first uh, Mia Whimsical Caper. I know there's a playmat of this card. Followed by an Ickerback. Well, nice. Good old two rare pack. Get the uh, face rock punch. Gargoyle Bro, Supreme Judgment, <laughs> Mechobore, Augment, Vendor Bender. This card's sweet. Oh, dude. This is a foil and it looks really cool. Hold on, let me try to catch the catch the light on this. It's it's very, very subtle, but it looks really cool, like right here, where her hair is. Anyways, it's, it's a it's an uncommon, Supreme Foresight. Just looks like really, really good. And then we have an Axel Little Thing. Another augmented Stone Gazer. I mean, I'd like a foil of that one as well, because it looks really, really cool. Another um, Warhammer Dwarf. Arsenal of Justice. Ooh, this is another foil rare. The Bacchus, Patron of the Blossom. Once again, looks super cool with, with the foiling. I love it quite a bit. And we have another Ancient Skylord. So we got two of those each in this box. Earthbreaker Titan. Potioneer. I'm, I'm just gonna flip through this swole, swole elf. We have uh, Augmented Cragborn, Sudden Eruption. We have Yvel, Lord of the Skies, is a uh, double rare. Is that, uh, no, not quite. We're still missing the red one. Ooh, do you know what? I'm really hoping, well, I guess it's either gonna be the dragon or the angel. I'd be happy with either, honestly. Nah, who am I kidding? I'm really hoping for the angel. She is, uh, very cool looking card. I think she's a pretty good card too. Scum Scale Warden. Got this giant elephant. Um, big, big old, big old shield. We have a Wave Finder Dragon. That's the first one of these we've gotten. Pretty cool. Raid. Another fucking seven drop. Dread Gatekeeper. I'm just gonna blast on through. Um, Shadow Hunter. Uh, it might be the first, um, first rare Shadow Hunter we've seen. Ooh, so this is the uh, double rare. Eldrin, Lord of the Blaze. One of the Elder Dragons. So we, we now have at least one of all of the Elder Dragons out of these two boxes. Pretty cool. And then, you know, at this point, I think we're just gonna skip right to the Uncommons. We have this Orc, orc Chick. Um, Tarzian Arsenis, Supreme Foresight. A Foil Overseer. Followed by, ooh, I've never seen this. Dark Diviner. It's a vampire. Oh, she has Siphon. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, I'm not gonna flip through the cards like that. I don't like the way it looks on the camera. I don't think it's, it, I don't think it's very clear what the cards are, even though it doesn't really matter about the uncommons and uncommons. We have another Shadow Hunter, Merfolk Tinker. Oh, this is gonna be a triple rare pack. Followed by a Halvast Searing Horn. Nice. I, like I said, I think this guy's really good. If I had to guess, I would assume that the last couple packs are just gonna be like your standard single rare pack, like United in Purpose. Because we already got the triple rare pack, there might be a double one. But we all got all of our supers, and we also got two foil rares already. Got this, uh, <laughs> this imp guy, Bob and this other guy. I love it, just like dopey dudes back to back. We do have a foil in this pack though. This is an Ingenious Saboteurs. So we got the Double Goblin Bros, followed by a Dark Puppeteer. I, once again, I really like this card. All right, second to last pack for the video. What will we get? We get anything, anything sweet? We have a Nightingale. We have a Foil the Experiment with really cool foiling. 
and a Star of Divinity. Alright, this is the final pack, and we are just going to flip through this. We have a High Elf Shield Mage. I think this is going to be a multiple rare pack. Yeah, we have Zavras, Mechanized Fury. He's like a fucking robot dragon. And a Voice of the Living World. Nice. These are both rares that we have not seen. So that is a good way to close it out. Let's just do a recap of the supers that we got. I mean, pretty sweet. You know what? Let me grab a stack of other supers. So these are between the two boxes. We got a couple multiples. We got two of this um, light dragon and two of like the green dragon. And then, you know, kind of like a, a nice breakdown of other stuff. Um, getting this is really good. I, I'm definitely going to put this in a deck. Maybe her too. Anyway, guys, if you liked the video, then maybe leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. I'm going to do another one, opening up the last two booster boxes that I have. Um, so stay tuned for that if you are interested. Otherwise, um, stick around for some more forcible content. Magic the Gathering content coming up with Dominaria soon. And uh, yeah, guys, hope you have a good one, and I hope to see you later.